Hello everyone, welcome back to Anubis Temple. Um, well, test server is down, but apparently that didn't stop me from testing some things with sorcery. Let's talk about it. So apparently, um, with Mercy Artifact, okay, um, we all know, I, I, I think I covered this in another video already, uh, that when you equip the Mercy Artifact, if you're Sorcery or Earth, it will replace your Fortify Golem or Offering with another power called Mercy Attack Protocol. Um, the thing is that, you see that power over there, that one, that's the Mercy Attack Protocol, okay? If you if you unequip mercy, you'll have offering back. Okay. The thing that I just noticed <laughs> after making the video is that if you equip mercy and hit mercy attack protocol and then unequip it, you will still have offering of cooldown to hit it again. So you can basically make fury sets its own PI by using Mer mercy and then you hit her with offering so it hits stronger i know it's a swap but who doesn't swap nowadays you know and it's not really a crazy swap as well it's literally just like this and that and then you continue whatever you're doing that's i found that really useful actually and also um you don't, you, by the way, you don't really physically need to like remove it like that, you just swap it with another artifact. <sighs> Why well, I said this doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, you can, um, if you don't want to do that every time offering or uh, Mercy Attack Protocol go for, come off cooldown, you can use it only with um, God Wave Strength, with a Soul Shard basically. So you use that and then Soul Shard, okay? And then you will make Fury does another attack and then you don't swap until wait you swap back mercy because you need to use it and nonetheless and you, and you don't swap back until you have um, god of strength of cooldown like this you see like you only swap it just for the extra damage because god of strength will make fury hits harder anyway you get what i mean um that's if you don't want to swap every now and then like, um, I, you can literally do that, you know, just, it's up to you, whatever, you can keep doing it. People like swapping 8 artifacts as, as DPSs right now, <laughs> even more. Um, so yeah, um, that's one of the things that I discovered about Fury. Also, for the high spam Eye of Gemini's groups, um, I don't think I said before, Grand Summoning hits like a truck, apparently. I don't know if they buffed it or what happened, but I, I don't remember it using, I, I don't remember it being that, like, doesn't hit that hard, I don't remember it being like that to be fair. Um, so yeah, like you have a healer that is spamming three superchargers or even more, um, yeah, throw Grand Summoning there. And before you use it, just swap in Eye of Gemini, boom, and then swap back. Easy, easy swap. Um, yeah, I think actually that's it. So let's cover something about Watcher as well that I've noticed recently. So for Watcher, um, we all know why no one uses Watcher right now. Just because of the power consumption and the heal are not really that fantastic but um, I found it really useful and like for example SDE when you're cuffed if you're solo healing you know um, Watcher can do the heals for you because your AOE heals are either circle protection 
which will run out after 12 seconds so you don't know when exactly you're getting cuffed maybe you're getting cuffed at the end of the 12 seconds and you have to resummon it so you don't have any hot's you know but watcher is only there the thing is watcher dumps all the powers really quickly and um retroistic word won't get it back that fast it's not enough basically you have to use offering with it Unless like you literally spam it off cooldown and you still watcher won't be full power because it dumps power like crazy. The thing is, somehow you can use oh got stuck. <laughs> somehow you can use uh, watcher as a um, as a clip power. So if you clip watcher with like let's say priority, you press you press on the whatever slot you have the watcher in as well first and then you you press on um, the slot that you have your priority in quickly like this look at that watcher disappeared you do the same thing watchers come just get back again and you're not wasting any animation for anything you're literally healing like you do this you know that and you see like watcher um power bar because you can check it um, you see like, oh yeah, it's, it's slow. Let's really do this. Boom, it's gone. Continue healing. And then you summon it back. You can just keep doing this over and over again. So you will have Watcher basically not running out of power at all. And you always have an HOT on. So that's the thing as well that I found it like... Um, it's not like meta, but <laughs> it's useful from time to time. Instead of just wasting another slot and you load out using um, um, offering with it. Um, and to be fair, if you want to replace Watcher in, in this loadout in here that I talked about before, you're either going to get, you're going to go with Renewal, which you only use the first three ticks of it and you didn't jump cancel it because of the cooldown and because of the animation. The cooldown is 15 seconds, which is a lot. You don't really need a burst move anymore when you have Page of Destiny 200 because your group heal is already healing 6 people. And your heals are resetted because of Purple Healing Ray. So you don't technically need a burst heal unless you're Celestial because the group heals kind of slow. But like this slot here, you won't really need to do anything in it. Like you can, you can throw Shard of Life, yeah, but Shard of Life is a, is a heal. To whoever's whoever is close to the person you're hitting, like if you're hitting an ad over there, and let's say that that penguin is the person next to the ad, this is the only person that is going to get healed, or like whoever is around that person as well. But if someone is taking damage near you, and you want to like heal him with something, that won't save you. You know what I mean? That's basically just for the tanks, because the tanks are always going to be next to the boss you're hitting. Um. We are definitely not using Soul Bolt, that's really slow, and it's just um, a single target uh, heal as well. People used to use that back in the day, when um, when PCE was out, when uh, when they used to use, like, um, the mechanic for PCE used to be, like, two tanks, one of them taking the suppressor, and the other taking the boss. So, you need to use two heals for that, one of the tank and one of the other. Some people used to do that. So sorcery shine there because sorcery can basically be a pure single target healer. That's the thing as well. Uh, we're definitely not using so well. So is so slow. That's why you only use it in Orbit of Destiny because at least you can have three out. Um, Soul Siphon, you can use that, but I, I don't really see it that broken. You can, yeah, again, you can still use it in um, Orbit of Destiny. Um, so yeah, you either stuck, basically, if you're not using Watcher, you either stuck with Renault, Shard of Life, or maybe a weapon buff, if you want to use Clarion instead of Transformation card. So, the choices are really limited, that's why I always go with Watcher, to be fair, I would rather have, like, an HOT up. Um, did I forget a power? I don't think I did. I mean, this doesn't really count as a healing power, to be fair. Um... Yeah, I don't think I did. I mean, you can technically throw your supercharged generator there and put bl and equip Black Adam. So if you want to um, spam superchargers for the group as a pure healer, um, so you don't be fully pure healer if there's like a situation that needs both at the same time. I did this in S5 last boss. Um, 
Um, yeah, and you just throw it again there. So you basically spam in three supercharges. Orbital, orbital, wow, orbit, and uh, are those two supercharges in here? So yeah, that's that's the thing as well. I figure out about soldier. Um, yeah. I think I think that's it. <laughs> Don't have anything else to say. Um, for the let's touch on this. For the pet build, I'm sure I said that before. For the pet build, you always need to have um, Aquaman here, my coal. Okay, for that increase by 10% um, damage. So with that 10% and grand summoning, and you swap in like mercy with uh, offering and all of that to hit god wave strength with your um with your like henchmen or pets you're hitting at least three mil like i was i was basically literally 100k behind um an electric player a really good electric player i know and it was really like super spammy group um like i gemini healer as well and all of that so it's not really that bad to be fair sorcery still shines in some ways um you of course you can still go with like the old setup you know but yeah why not and yeah i think that's it um i think i might go like switch another power from sorcery soon because why not I've been sorcery for so long i mean i will definitely go back to it it's my main power but for now, I'll have to test other things as well. I might go water soon, and then electric, or electric and then water. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go first. But, yeah. Um, I think that's it. And if I figure out anything new about the pets or whatever, I will let you guys know. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!